going to bother me. Good evening. Good to see everyone. The Lord has truly blessed us with a beautiful day anyway. Um, didn't mention it this morning, but, you know, we had four baptisms last week at the jail, and we had three unexpected this week, and it's the first time we've ever got to do that. May not, do, may not get to do it again, but we just happened to have some jailers that was cooperating, and it's it's great. It's, it's wonderful. So we're thankful for those and all those others that's obeyed the gospel. Uh, if you didn't pick up a bulletin, please do so. I won't cover very much that's in it. Uh, however, as a reminder, youth night's coming up the 12th, so be sure and uh, be inviting not only the youth, but their parents and, and uh, also Terry and Ruth and whoever's involved in will, will have a barbecue dinner after that. So that, that would be some encouragement to some people. Uh, gift shower for Terry and Connie. Uh, keep that in mind, the 25th. And all this is in the bulletin. Um, also, I want to thank everyone, for Roy, a card from Roy wants to thank everyone for the uh, help putting out the flags uh, yesterday, and uh, we thank Roy and Bob and all those others that uh, have helped defend this country so we, we have the right to be here tonight. So thank you, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, just a note, it happens at home to me, sometimes, so I, I understand this. My, my reminder is my refrigerator, if I leave the door open even parse away, it eventually goes beep, 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 beep. And I think, what in the world's that? So anyway, I don't know if this refrigerator's got that on it or not. But this one back here, especially on the left door, uh, men and ladies, whoever, be sure that they're closed because it's been left open a time or two, and it's just one of them things that happens. But please kind of keep that in mind. That push it all the way to um mentioned this morning Pauline had lost her sister Shirley Fisher and um, visitation will be Monday evening at Little Creek Baptist Church at 8 o'clock 6 to 8 and then uh, funeral will be Tuesday May 31st at 10 o'clock at the same place and that's I've got an address here and I'll post this on the board back there um, tonight after services and that way you can get the address off there uh, mentioned this morning, um, Leon and Charlotte, uh, not, not doing good, so keep them in our, keep them in our prayers. Uh, Becky's aunt Elder still needs our prayers. Yes, and... Gina's friend Terry failed today, so we need to keep uh, Terry in our prayers. Thanks, Gina. Um, also, along with that, I mentioned Terry Blankenship this morning, and uh, unfortunately, he's been admitted to the hospital. We're waiting on a room for him, but he's been admitted to the hospital, so that uh, that's obviously not a good sign. So. Please, again, uh, let's say an extra prayer for Terry tonight. Um, and then on a good note, it's good to have the Fishers back tonight. And uh, also want to uh, keep Rick and Kathy in our prayers while they're at the lectureship at Branson. Again, I'd encourage anybody that gets an opportunity to go to that lectureship. Um, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I know you won't be disappointed because the Word of God will be preached and, uh, and we know the, the power of the gospel. Uh, I think the last thing I've got is uh, Kay has, has invited us to her <laughs> have a weenie roast out of her house tonight after services. I think Bob's included, but anyway, Kay's got us invited. So uh, think about it. Bring drinks. If you want to bring uh, extra snacks or something, that's fine. They'll take care of the hot dogs and buns. Um, 
but if you want to bring something, and especially bring chairs, if you want, want a place to sit, otherwise you'll have to do Indian style on the ground. Anything I might have missed, let's go to God in prayer. Holy Father, we're again just so grateful, Father, that you loved us enough, Father, to send your only begotten Son, Father, to suffer and die, that we might have a hope, a life eternal with you someday. Father, we're thankful for blessing us with this day and this beauty of the earth that you created, Father, that we have this opportunity, right, and commandment, Father, to assemble here tonight, Father, and sing songs of praises to you and hear another portion of your word. Father, we're thankful for the avenue of prayer and the many answered prayers of those, Joanne and different ones that's better and John Nash being able to be here this morning and, and those others, Father, that have answered prayers. Father, we still continue to be with those in need around the world, in Ukraine and India, where they've been persecuted for sharing the gospel, and Father, the, those poor families in Texas. And Father, we're mindful of Pauline and loss of her sister, and Father, mindful of Terry and Heath him falling and uh, Elda and those others, Father, that is on our minds and our hearts. Above all, Father, though we're mindful of those that are t without hope, Father, those that don't know you or have turned away from you, Father, that something will be said and done by, by us, Father, as, as your children, as you've commanded us, that we'll strive to sow the seed or water that you might give the increase. Father, please forgive us when we sin and fail you and strengthen us so we don't repeat those sins and that we always strive to be forgiving of others. Father, just help us to love you like you first loved us and, and do all things for your honor and glory. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray, amen. We have a few songs on the board. And a few song leaders. If song leaders, if you see your name up there, you don't want it up there. You should raise your hand now. That would be Jerry and Clayton and Terry and Scott and Larry. Take your name off, or it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else want to lead a song? Okay. Haley, you up for it? Huh? Okay. Okay. Well, we'll do what we can. Uh, we've got a few songs. Are there more songs to write up, Beverly? 734. And what is it, please? Jack? 1263? 63? Six, I can't, I can't hear you. What, what, what's the name of it? I will call. I will call. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, tell me. Trying to write big enough the song leaders can see it. Can't even spell. And then they can pick one out. I think I better move up here. I'll just put where that'll remind you. Anyone else? What is it? You 
You're going to have to tell me the name again, Jack. I'm, pardon? Oh, Happy Day. I'll just put Oh, Happy. Thank you. I had that marked in my book. That will be our song of invitation. I'll just put invitation. So, uh, Larry, do you know that song? What a day that will be. Okay, you have it then. Okay, one more. We're just right. Let's stop there because inevitably a song later will pick out one of his own. So uh, let's start with uh, 546. We'll just start there. And song leaders, we, as many as we have, let's try to lead two verses, first and last, or first and second, whichever ones you want. But that way we'll have time to get all of them, if you would, please. Who has first prayer? Five, four, six. Five, four, six. Who has first prayer? Daniel? Okay. Daniel will have it after Jerry leads, and Jerry will be after me. Okay, and we'll put the devotional in after Scott leads, and then uh, we'll do that. All right, 546. In the dark of the midnight, I have oft hid my face, while the storm howls above me, and there's no hiding place mid the crash of the thunder precious Lord hear my cry keep me safe till the storm passes by till the storm passes over till the thunder sounds no more Till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast, let me stand in the hollow of thy hand. Keep me safe till the storm passes by. Let's stop right there a minute. I want to point something out to you. Down here, when we finish the verse, by is the, is the last word in the verse on first, first verse and third verse. And we're going to hold that for three beats and then two more. We're, we're cutting that short a little bit. We're cutting that short at about three beats, and then I'm holding it for two more, and nobody's singing with me. So if... Uh, if we could do that, then we did a great job over here, though. I'll brag on you. We did a great job up there at the, in the first bar where it says from the sky. Everyone held it there, so let's do it down here, too. All right, third verse. When the long night has ended and the storms come no more, let me stand in thy presence on that bright peaceful shore in that land where the tempest never comes lord may i dwell with thee when the storm passes by till the storm passes over Till the thunder sounds no more, till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast and let me stand 
in the hollow of thy hand, keep me safe till the storm passes by. Keep me safe till the storm passes by. Very good. Much better. Thank you. Let's do 71 as the deer. And that one just has two verses, so we'll sing both of them. Kim, is this the one you asked for, 852, or the next one? Okay, well, I'm going to leave that one too when we, after this one. 71. Oftentimes we forget that what the beat is in a song. Well, this one's 4-4, four, four, four beats to the measure, and a quarter of a note's going to get a beat. But the, uh, whoever set this to music, Mr. Martin Nystrom, back in 1984, if you look down there in that third bar, he changed it. He took a liberty, and he made it 2-4 instead of 4-4. Four, four. So if you watch, as, as those of us who are able to mark time, or do mark time, many are able and don't, but if when we do, when we come down with our hand, that's the first beat, and that should be right after you see the bar. See, as the deer pants, then four, we should be coming down on that. So that's going to be your first beat. So we're going to do one, two, three, Four, one, two. When we get down there, it's just a two. And then we go back to four. So, be ready. We we know this song anyway, so it it does well. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. I want you more than gold or silver. Only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eyes. Eight fifty nine, eight hundred fifty nine. When all of God's singers get home. Jerry, you'll be after this song, bud. <clears throat> what a song of delight in a city so bright will be wafted neath heaven's fair dome 
How the ransom will raise happy songs in his praise when all of God's singers get home. When all of God's singers get home, whenever a sorrow will come, there'll be no place like home when all of God's singers get home. Having overcome sin, hallelujah, amen, will be heard in that land or the tone. Every heart will be light and each face will be bright when all of God's singers get home. When all of God's singers get home, whenever a sorrow will come, There'll be no place like home when all of God's singers get home. Amen. Brother Jerry. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansion, bright and blessed, here we prepare the pleasure. When we all in all get to Him, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Number 801, 801. Once I stood in the night with my head bowed low in the darkness as black as could be, and my heart.
Thank you. Three seventy nine. Three seventy nine. Three seven nine. He left a splendor of heaven, knowing his destiny was the holy hill of Calcutta, there to lay down his life for me. Pray with me, please. Our Father in heaven, we truly thank you for another day that you've allowed us here on earth. We thank you for life itself. We thank you for the avenue of prayer that you've blessed us with and prayers that you answer on our behalf. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the church. Father, we pray for the growth spiritually and numerically. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we have this evening to gather here without fear and persecution, sing songs of praise to you, and, and hear another portion of your word. Father, we're thankful for our congregation here in Marshfield, thankful for our elders and our deacons and all those who work and labor so hard for our congregation. Father, thank you for the blessings that you bestow upon us. We pray that if it be your will, you continue to bless us. Father, help us to be doing your will, doing your business at all times. Father, we pray for those in need, those on our prayer list, and Father, those that's been mentioned today. We pray for Terry as he's fallen today, that he would recover and heal. Pray for Terry Blinkenship and comfort and healing for him, Edna Lehman. Father, the comfort and peace. Father, we also pray for Charlotte and Leon, that they'd be back with us soon. 
Father, we pray for those countless others that I may fail to mention, though you know the needs of each and every one of us. Father, we just pray that your healing, hand, strength, and comfort be upon all of us as we face trials and tribulations here on earth. Father, we thank you for the jail ministry and, and the impact that it's had. Father, those who go and, and those who pray and those who send cookies and those who, the ladies' class that send letters. Father, we're thankful for that opportunity and all the opportunities that we have, the home studies that are going on. And Father, just the blessing us with the ability and the desire to share your word. Father, we pray for those in our military, Father, law enforcement, firefighters, medical personnel, all those who serve and protect and help in time of need. Pray for peace and comfort for them and protection. We're mindful of the tragedy in Texas. Continue to keep those families on our mind and our community. Pray, Father, that though it's such a tragedy that may bring individuals and families to you. Pray for an end to the war in Ukraine as well and peace for those individuals. Father, we thank you again for every blessing. We thank you most of all for your Son, our Lord and Savior, the greatest blessing we'll ever know. He went to that cross and gave his life that we might have the hope of forgiveness and the hope of life eternal. It's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I'm thankful that he loves me. Jesus loves the little children, huh, Jack? Not him, huh? Well, I would say, not him. <laughs> Jesus loves the little children, 1,015. 10, 15. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Now, I'm going to sing a song that's not on this list. And I want to do something else. We're going to sing all three verses, but you can't do it without that second verse. Number 490, 490. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is It is well, it is. 
shall be sighed. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend even so it is well with my soul it is well with my soul it is Sixty three, six three. <clears throat> I will call upon the Lord. <clears throat> so shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord. Let the God of our salvation be exalted. I know the Lord and live us, and blessed be the rock. Let the God of our salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord live us, and blessed be the rock. Let the God of our salvation be exalted. I know the Lord would live us, and blessed be the rock. Let the God of our salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord. The one that's not on the book board is uh, 625. 625, first and last. <clears throat> 625. Science call sweetly rings over land and sea. Bidding us look to realms above While the light from the throne shines for you and me Let us live to the call of love Science call is ringing Coming from the throne of <coughs> While we hear it let us heed the call of love. While we tarry below, there is work to do, but our strength cometh from above. As we labor and wait, we must all be true. Let us live to the call of love. Science call is ringing. Coming from the throne of us, while we hear it ringing, let us heed the call of
Try that one.
16, the song is in the faith. Number 916. And I'll do the same. Of course, I already had my mark. Dan's been teaching on get this thing plugged in so it goes in the back in here. Dan's been teaching on uh, 2 Timothy and or 2 Peter, I'm sorry and uh, doing an excellent job. I just love coming to his class every time and, and I don't want to step on his, on his lesson because what I'm about to talk about, he talked partly about it this morning and he's going to finish up next week talking about it. So if you want to, you can turn to Second Timothy, Second Peter, my bad, thank you. Uh, chapter 3 and verse 10. And anyway, uh, I kind of I got on to this a little bit, uh, and I'm going to point out a few things as I read through it, but I kind of got on this a little bit because of my arm. And uh, I do appreciate all the prayers. It is healing up nicely, getting stronger every day. I fell on it yesterday, bam. Didn't break it again. That means it's strong, right? So anyway, uh, I'm just letting you guys know that you know I really appreciate your prayers. Let's go to chapter three and verse ten. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some count slackness. But he but is suffered, long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Matthew records Christ saying this, that as from the east flashes, as the lightning uh, flashes from the east to the west, so shall the coming of the Son be, of a man be. Whenever this happened to my arm, it was two tenths of a second. Two tenths. I hit the lever for to drive the post down, and the next thing I felt was it was hit my arm. Two tenths of a second. Just barely, barely even. Uh, didn't have time to even think about it. It was just, and, and I didn't even look at it. I just raised the, you know, the thing back up because I just knew what had happened and where it was, and I, I didn't expect to see anything really on the hand, you know, I mean on my arm. But good Lord was with me, and, and he helped me to, uh, it's still there. The... Uh, but I just, I just can't fathom, uh, this last spring, not too long ago, I was sitting in the house watching some television, and lightning ran in on the DSL line into our router. And I didn't hear the thunder. I didn't hear the lightning. It was a loud shock, boom, inside the house. It was just like that. And I think about lightning, how fast it is. You know, I know all of us have, have been close enough to lightning that the flash and the sound are instantaneous. It's that, you've, you've just been there, you've heard it. And I think whenever God returns, Christ comes back, it's going to be like that. It's going to be so quick. All the world will know at one time that he's here.
continue reading. But the day of the Lord will come. Let me emphasize that again. But the day of the Lord will come. He will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner, what manner of persons ought you to be? Holy, be in holy conduct and in godliness. If you think about that, that means that we need to have things taken care of. You need to be prepared, ready for this time to come. Continually. Because as a thief in the night, we don't know when he's coming. If you got ought against your brother, you need to go talk to that brother. If you got a sister that's got ought against you, you need to go talk to that sister. Get your life right. That's that's the point here. Looking forward, and I and I, I see that looking forward maybe a little differently than, than some, but preparing and anticipating, looking forward to this time to come and hastening the coming of the day of the Lord. How many of us want Christ to come back quickly? Think about that. Because of which, we'll continue reading, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements would melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth in which righteousness dwells. This, about a year ago, this, I want to tell you just a little short story. About a year ago, a friend of the family's, uh, a young lady, I know a lot of you people may know her, uh, Mercedes Luna, I like to call her a, a strong Christian. She, uh, pardon me, she lived her life in such a way that her Christianity was here. You could, you could see it. She, you could know that she was working her life. She was 21 years old, or about so. Ellen and I kind of talked about this afternoon, not exactly sure, but with gauging, she was about a uh, year older than my daughter and a year or two younger than Mark, so we just kind of figured she was about 21. And uh, she was on her way to work. She was uh, engaged in, in college and was working to be uh, a teacher, school teacher, and she was uh, doing some internship down in, in Rogersville. And so she was driving uh, 125. I don't know if you guys know where 125 is, out of Stratford toward Rogersville. And so uh, she was driving, being perfectly fine, perfectly good, just driving along. There was another woman that was impatient, came up to a hill, tried to pass a UPS truck on the hill, came over the hill, Mercedes Benz, or Mercedes Benz, Mercedes, instead of running into her, go to the or creek, or sorry, to the side of the road. Mercedes probably didn't have two, three seconds of this life left at that point. Folks, you never know, driving to Bob's house tonight, 
may be the last seconds of your life. Christ has given us the opportunity to have peace in our hearts, knowing that there's a heaven for us. That when these, this world, this elements, everything that is in this world is burned up, we have that peace of knowing that we're going to be in heaven. So, and, and if you remember the last part of that sentence, Justice, where justice prevails. There'll be no evil. Should we hasten the day? Some of us with young children think, no, we need to raise them children up. Some of us with family that are not faithful, we, we would like to have opportunity to, but that's not our decision, that's God's. If there's a, any need for anyone to come tonight and uh, uh, make this right in their lives or, or you need prayers of the church in any way, please come tonight as we stand and sing. Kind of putting me on the spot here. <coughs> 266, Majesty. 266.
majesty, worship his majesty, unto Jesus be your glory, power, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority, flow from his throne unto his own, his anthem to raise. So exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus the King, majesty, worship his majesty, Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. We're just going to sing that once. I think Brother Jeff leads that, doesn't he? I think so. But I think Brother Jeff Fisher leads that from time to time. But I'm singing a lot with a tape I have, but I sound a lot better with that. The Lord's table left prepared for those. They don't have the opportunity to take the Lord's Supper this morning. Is somebody up there that need to do that? You have your emblems? Let us pray. A more gracious and loving Father, we come in your presence one more time, thanking you for so many blessings you give us. Father, we pray that you with these Christians as they commemorate this celebration. Father, help them to remember that the bread is represented broken by the Jesus chain uh, the cross for the Abigail. I will be there to uh, do the, this thing in my peace in your side. Yes, I pray to Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. I'm more gracious and loving, Father, one more time coming out of place, thanking you for so many blessings you give us, Father, pray that you be with these Christians. They partake of the fruit of the vine that represent the blood that Jesus shed on the cross in their behalf. Father, help to take the hearts and minds back in time, remember that cruel, cruel day. Help them to do this in the mind and please in your sight. This I pray to you, praise your Son and Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Anyone need for me bring the offering plate? Let us pray. Father, one more time we come up to you thanking you for so many blessings you give us, our homes, our families, our jobs, is the way we can do our living. Father, we with those Christians today put aside a little bit of this money to offer it to you to this evening. Father, pray with this money be used to spread your work and this country and across the world because we know you love the cheerful giver. Father, we pray that you do this in my place in your sight. This I pray to Jesus Christ, we pray. It. Amen.
Yeah, I don't know where to look, anybody else? Ninety-four, first and last verse. Randy, I can't remember if you announced that we had three baptisms today at the jail. Okay, uh, it was a happy day for those. And one new brother is from uh, Charity, I believe he said, didn't he? Was it Charity? Is he is that where he was from? Uh, but he hopes to be released this next week and assured Bob that he and his wife would be at worship this this coming. Bob, tell me, remind me his name, please. I should mention them all, but especially his, so we might keep him in prayer. Do you remember, Larry? Thurman, Thurman, Thurman. yes. Jim A. Thurman, Terry. Terry Thurman. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he's not far. Some of them are, are far away and they go back to their, their uh, communities and we don't see them, but hopefully Brother Thurman and his wife will be with us. So keep, keep that in your prayers. And we'll sing Oh Happy Day and then be led in prayer. And I have song leading the first Sunday in June, so I'll lead that song first Sunday in June. That way we won't leave anyone out. First and third. Oh, happy day that fixed my choice On thee, my Savior and my God. Well, may this glowing heart rejoice And tell its raptures all abroad. Happy day, happy day when jesus washed my sins away he taught me how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day happy day happy day when jesus washed my sins away Tis done the great transactions done. I am my Lord's and he is mine. He drew me and I followed on. Charmed to confess the voice divine. Happy day, happy day. When Jesus washed my sins away, He taught me how to watch and pray, And live rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day, When Jesus washed my sins away. Be led in prayer at this time. Thank you, Brother Haley, for your good lesson. Please bow with me. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, Master and Creator of all that was, all that is, and all that ever shall be, we, your humble servants, wish to acknowledge your power and your majesty. And we pray, Lord, that our worship tonight and our singing has been pleasant to your ears. We beg of you, Lord, to please, if it be your will to be with those in our prayer list, that they may be healed quickly and return to your good works. We especially want a blessing upon those who have served so valiantly and given the ultimate sacrifice so that we may worship you in peace and tranquility. And we pray this blessing upon all of those that are your brothers and sisters everywhere in the world, that they may find the joys and the peace 
that we have to be your children. We pray this by the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.